Howdy, pards. Mr. Holster back with another Top 5. Today we're going to look at the movies of Lee Van Cleef. Number 5, an underwhelming film called Armed Response with David Carradine from 1986. And in this movie, he uses what appears to me to be a Remington 870 pump 12-gauge shotgun. Now, it might be a Mossberg 12-gauge. It was awful hard to tell. You can look at the pictures yourself there if I'm wrong or if you can identify which it is. Type it in down below. But but really, guys, don't go watch the movie to find out. It's, it's not worth that. Nothing is worth that. <laughs> number four, my number four pick is Death Rides a Horse from 1966. And in this movie, he uses a Remington 1866 41 rimfire Derringer nickel plated. Number three, my number three pick, one of my favorite movies, and I'm sure it's one of your favorites too, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly with Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, and Eli Wallach. And in this movie, he uses an 1858 Remington New Army cap and ball pistol, which, which leads to the question of why he's carrying a cartridge belt. <laughs> number two, my number two pick, Return of Zapata, 1971. And he, he does some fantastic shooting in this movie. If you haven't seen this movie... Yeah, I recommend this movie. This is this is really uh, one of my guilty pleasures watching this movie. And in this movie, he uses a Chicago Protector Palm Pistol in 32. The Chicago Protector Palm Pistol in 32. Now my number one pick. Number one. For a few dollars more with Clint Eastwood. And I just love this movie too. And in this movie, he, he carries several guns on his horse in a roll-up canvas. You know, I don't know the words to use what you would call this. I've been a, I've just, for lack of anything else, a roll-up canvas rack. I don't know what you'd call this. Type it in down below. Somebody's got to know what you call this thing. It carries several guns in it, but two that, that really piqued my interest and are a big part of this movie is the Colt Single Action Army Bunt Line with an 18-inch barrel you see hanging there and the Colt Single Action Army Bunt Line with a 10-inch barrel and a removable buttstock, which is really the centerpiece of the firearms he's using in this movie. There you go, guys. There's my top five for Lee Van Cleef. And I got one honorable mention I'm going to make from the movie Escape from New York, where he uses a nickel-plated Smith & Wesson Model 10 Snubby 38 Special. There you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. From Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. That's only three minutes and 43 seconds of your life. You'll never, ever, ever get back again.